Hey, 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 uh, what I'm seeing here is not respectful behaviour at the start. We just got people just accept people and listen. Be respectful and listen. They are, they are listening. I think there's been a very clear session of listening. The time's ticking up. We have Graham to speak okay. next. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Brendan. Um, I think many of you know who I am, Graham Bobman from Housing New Zealand. I'd also like to introduce Hope Simmonson, who's a colleague of mine from Housing New Zealand as well, um, who's here to support me, and I'm very pleased she's here. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I, I guess as Brendan said, I mean, I came along this evening like I did three weeks ago to listen and understand what the... Um, feelings are from the community and I certainly, sorry, ready, um, and I mean feelings very strong and I, you know, they came to really strongly this evening and uh, thank you for uh, for being honest and open and, you know, that's part of why we're here. Um, there were a few points that were raised and I guess this is my opportunity to provide some response to some of your questions that were put forward. I better stop waffling because time is ticking on. Okay, can you hear me in the back? So um, I just sort of worked through a few. I just there were a few key themes that came through that I'll just um, talk to. And first of all, um, Yvonne spoke first, and you, you talked about this about this Northern Greenlandness redevelopment as being a proposal, and that's true. It is a, it is a proposal, and uh, we haven't finalised our plans at all. But 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 what we have done is identified the properties that are likely to be redeveloped and we're looking for options from development partners to actually work with us to create more houses and more housing options for people in the area. And, as, as, and because of that, we felt that we had to... Well, in fact, we didn't feel... We had to inform the people on those properties first about the proposal before we could actually go to the marketplace and seek to talk to development partners. So what we've done is we visited everybody, we sent them letters, as you say, and a few have put up today, and what we've said is that what we intend to do is redevelop the, this housing in this area to build more houses, to have newer, better quality state housing, affordable housing and private housing. Your property will probably be affected. This is a proposal, and if it's affected, you will may have to move out by the middle of next year or sometime after that point in time. So yes, it is a proposal. No, there are no definite plans because we haven't even found a potential partner to work with to actually work through the plans, and when we do, we will most certainly be working very closely, much more closely with affected people in the broader community than we have done at the moment. So I guess I just wanted to put yep. a bit of context around the proposal. What did you hear tonight? What are the key things that you heard tonight? Yep. I heard a few. I guess one key theme was that people are, con are concerned about, and there's lots of talk about people being shifted out of the area. And we do not intend to move people out of Grenadines. Absolutely not. <laughs> No, no. What we what we what we've said to people who are in the affected properties is, look, we're just letting them know that we're going through this process to maybe find a development partner or we'll try and find a development partner. 